Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today is the last video of Google Forms. Now we have done a wonderful things uh, using Google Forms. We have used Google Forms as a test. We have used Google Forms as a business also. So it will be useful for the teachers also, as well as it will be useful for the, all the business person also. And the previous video, if you have not seen, please check the description box or just click on this I button. So just see the previous video, okay, how I have made a site using Google Forms. Now, Google Forms are very much useful to collect the data, such as the teachers are required to collect the data from the students. Or maybe if they want to create a, some kind of test, which case students can do it, okay. So it is a very much useful tool that will be useful in the future life also. And now, if I want to make a site for the, uh, for the business person, I've already told you how you can make a site. So today we are just concentrating on how we can do the online payments, okay. Uh, how we can accept an online payments using Google Forms. Now, actually online payments are not that much, uh, good okay if you collect in the google forms it is good if we collect in the uh, normal platform but i will show you a trick also okay how we can collect a uh, online payments using google forms so i will just go to the google form okay and i have told you how we can just create a google form so if you have not checked my any of the videos please check it and then find it out okay, how to create a google basic google forms now i have made a site using a neartel extension and add-on uh, that add-on is very much useful if you want to make a site of your own now let us see how we can collect the online payments okay so right now if i just show you my site it will be something like this so i will just click on the add-on in that near tail okay and if you want you can create an order form or you can customize this form or you can even share this form okay so if you share this form you have to share it from here so whenever you make a, a form using near tail you have to not do it as a normal thing send and you can just click the link and give it to someone else you have to share it from here so you just copy paste this link okay you'll just paste it and you will see that okay, my site has already been created using near tail. So I'll just show you that site. And I have told you also okay, how you can create this site with awesome, any kind of uh, extension, customization, whatever you want to do, you can do it. So this was my site. You can see that okay, this was the site of a bakery. Okay, okay someone wants to uh, buy anything. For example, if they want to buy this cupcake, so you can see that okay, the total amount will be done. Name also, it can be, they can enter their name. They can enter their phone numbers. Okay, and then they can enter the email ID. So these three are required. Okay, so you can see that okay, your review will be done. Okay, spice cookie, there are five. Apple caramel crumble cupcake, there is five. And the total amount is this, and they can place the order like here. But I have not told you okay, how we can collect the payments over here. Okay, so I will just uh, share you with okay, how we can collect the payments if we want it. Okay, so now I will just go to my forms. Okay, there is only one response till now came. There is no other response came. So I will just go to my form. And these are the things and stuffs so you know that okay, I have just added the pictures over here. And the quantities and in the near tail, I have just made the customization. Okay. So if not seen the previous video, you see it, it is very simple and basic and everyone can do it properly. Okay. Now, uh, after the total amount uh, name, yes, this contact and delivery uh, details. Okay. So what I will do, I will create one more question over here. You can see that I will create one more question. So I will just click over here in the questions, add a question. Okay. So I will just click over here and add a question. So if I add a question, then uh, there is an option. So I will write down over here, payment option. So I will just add that to what is your payment option. So we will give you them two options to the customer. Either they can just pay it with the COD or either maybe uh, online payment. Okay. So there is their choice okay, what they want to do. So if suppose they want to do an online payment, uh, we will give them some details. Okay, obviously we have to give them some details. So I will add one more question. Okay, suppose if they want to do online payment using that uh, uh, Google Pay or something like that. So everyone, every uh, one will have a QR code in their Google Pay or maybe if they are using Paytm or any other thing, so they will have a QR code. So what they can do, they can upload the QR code. So you can do that, you can scan the QR code. Okay, so scan the QR code. Okay, so they can, what you can do, you can just add a picture of your QR code over here. Okay, right now I'm just adding a sample QR code. Right now I'm not adding a, a perfect QR code, obviously, for the security purpose, but I'm adding a sample QR code. So a sample QR code, I will just add it and insert it. Otherwise, you can just add a QR code of your own, obviously, Paytm or uh, Google Pay or something like that. You can just add a QR code. Okay, uh, and then you can just uh, over here, share the QR code, I will write it down. And I will just tell them and give your transaction ID. Okay. 
so that we can get an idea that if they have done the ID, means obviously if they have done the transaction properly, we will get a transaction ID also. So I will just put it as a short answer. So what they will do, they will scan this QR code and then they will uh, give a transaction ID uh, over here. Okay, I will also, I can also tell them to upload their uh, photo. Okay, so suppose if they upload your transaction screenshot. Okay, so whatever the transaction is there, they will just upload their screenshots. Okay, so they will just upload the screenshot. So what I have to do, if they want to upload their screenshot, I have to give them an option to upload the file. So over here, uh, rather than doing multiple choice, which has already been fixed, I will do file upload. Okay, so in file upload, they will tell you that uh, you have to continue uh, with this. Okay, why we have to continue with this? Because they have to sign in with a Google account to upload the file. So you can see that here, uh, I have given that they can upload any kind of file. Okay, if you want, you can just give them also to uh, upload a specific file. Okay, so this PDF or image or something like that. But right now, I'm giving them a chance to upload anything. But otherwise, yes, obviously, we know that they can just uh, upload if the PDF and uh, maybe the image. Okay, so that only they can upload. So we can give it like this. Okay, and then they can upload any kind of file up to 10 MB. So they can just take a transaction screenshot and they can upload it over here. Okay, uh, now when uh, and yes obviously if you want one more thing i'm sorry uh, just logically you can even give the iffc code okay of your bank bank details you can give and then tell them to again uh, uh, do all this kind of things okay that is to completely your choice okay, whether if suppose they don't have any kind of google pay and they have to directly transfer during the neft they can do that also now whenever i just preview this form okay the form will not open okay right now i will just show it to you what will happen suppose i have uh, made some editing and now i'm just opening my form okay so as you can just uh, see that okay now you it will it is telling like that form is not publicly visible okay because it is publicly not visible because you have to uh, log in with your account and then it can be visible okay so it is difficult now i don't wonder because everyone will not have any kind of uh, google account maybe so what i can do over here i can go again again back to my uh, this one uh, the form and over here again i will go to my near tail add-ons okay so i will go to this add-ons and i will customize this form okay so when i customize this form it will take a little time and then it will tell you okay this form cannot be customizable because obviously you have added uh, uh, one option in which you have to upload the file okay so in order to upload the file they need so what you can do this form is not accessible to public user because as it requires to sign in so convert the google drive upload into html upload so rather than google drive upload okay because uh, i don't want them to upload in the google drive i will just uh, put it as a html upload so you will just press yes so once you press yes okay they will just work and then they will tell that okay, this form is already customized and now it is publicly visible so i will just show you my form so i will just click on preview it will take little time to reload little bit and then you can see that your form will have even the qr code also and even the online payment option also okay so now you can just go to start okay now you can see that okay now you have some cupcakes cookies and all that kind of things okay now uh, as you are filling up this form so cookies are there so you can just select some cookies whatever nine cookies uh, eight of this okay suppose cupcakes now you can see that your price is 22.95 you can just enter your uh, this detail okay you can enter your phone numbers okay and you can enter your email id whatever email id is there okay at the rate gmail.com or whatever the uh, email id said you can enter it out so that they can get an invoice also now you can see they are giving an option whether you want to pay a payment and cod or online bid so i want to do an online payment okay so yes i can scan this qr code and give the payment scan the qr code give the transaction id you can they can give the transaction id over here also okay, this is my transaction id okay and they can upload a file also you can see that they can just add a file and then they will uh, be told that you have to just uh, drop and paste over here okay so you can import the file now you can see that uh, everything is done okay so chocolate chip cookies spice cookie tax amount okay name phone number email id payment option is online payment and scan the qr and give the so this is the transaction id and if i upload any kind of photo it will be shown over here also okay, this uh, transaction photo you have upload and you can place the order so this is the same way but you, what you are doing you are giving them an option of either online payment or either cod okay so that is completely their choice okay, whether what they want to do uh, and then it will be easy for you to collect the payments online also and it is very simple and basic things okay so i hope you enjoyed my video this was the last video regarding google forms next time we will learn that okay, how all these forms data are collected in which uh, application so you know that kit is collected in google sheets now i will tell you in google sheets a very wonderful things okay, how you can express a google sheet how you can make an invoice in google sheet how you can send it to 
the customers in the Google Sheet, how the teachers can use Google Sheet. So please stay in uh, to my channel and subscribe and like my channel. Thank you so much and have a nice day.